All right, YouTube, Vince here. Next deck, Crusadia. Um, so a little story real quick. Uh, Crusadia is a th my second favorite deck to play from the World Legacy uh, series. Uh, main reason was when I first got back into Yu-Gi-Oh! around the time World Chalice came out, uh, you know, struggling really hard to find a deck to play against the meta, and I picked up Crusadia on the cheap. And I took my first local win, pulled my first ulti in a pack. It, it was a feel-good story for myself. Really a turn, turning point for, you know, my uh, my self-esteem and whatnot in the game. Anyway, boring story aside, this is Crusadia. Uh, Crusadia is a OTK strategy. Um, more so than the Mech Knights. Uh, you know, it's really just punch-for-game kind of deck. It feels really good to play. Um kind of a brain dead deck to be honest with you um but i love it nonetheless uh people use it for guard dragon shenanigans and has engine pieces but this is how this is how you play the deck this is just punch hard swing for game it's beautiful so let's get started we have three copies of crusadia maximus uh this is definitely one of the best crusadia cards from the main deck a uh, little uh, short story is that each Crusadia monster can special summon themselves from the hands in defense position if there's a Link monster with an open arrow. So they can just throw themselves out onto the board, and that is important for Link climbing. Uh, Ma Crusadia Maximus's specific effect is that he can target a monster, and any battle damage that it that monster does is doubled. So this is how you swing for game. Uh, slap them on the board after you link climb and then attack directly with your boss monster or well attack a monster or whatever uh, You know swing for game. So this is one of your main cards Next we have three copies of Crusadia Draco uh, Crusadia Draco has the same summoning condition just slap himself on the board to a zone a link link monster points to uh, His specific effect is that when it's normal or special summoned uh to his own Link Monster points to, you can target a Crusadia card in your graveyard and add it to your hand. So this gives you resources. You essentially want to normal summon a Crusadia monster, link away to the Link 1, special summon Draco. Draco will then let you add back that monster so you can special summon it later uh, because you can only special summon them once per turn. So normal summon, add it back, special summon that monster later. Three copies of Crusadia Aborea. Uh, this is an interesting one for two reasons. Um, same special summoning condi condition. Uh, it is a tuner, which is pretty cool. Um, but more importantly, it has a protection effect. So if you can't swing for game or you're going first forcefully, um, if your Link monster would be destroyed by battle or card effect, you can banish her from the graveyard to protect that monster. Uh, and again, it being a tuner allows you to do some cheeky plays going second. Um, I'm sorry, going first. Um, so just, uh, you know, you gotta run it. You gotta run it. More names. Two copies of the worst one, Crusadia Leonis. Uh, same summoning condition. Summon from the hand in defense position to a link, zone of link monster points to. Uh, his effect is though he gives piercing to a monster uh, that he points to. So one does double, one gives piercing. You get the idea. Swing for a game. And then finally, a one of Crusadia Reclusia. This is the oddest of the bunch. Um, special summon condition is the same. Um, but when he special summons to his own, a link monster points to, you can target a monster your opponent controls and this card, and then you have to destroy them. Uh, kind of a break board kind of card. Um, it is searchable with, um, the link monster, so it comes in handy in a pinch, but not exactly one of the ones you want to start off with. Uh, it's weird typing, spellcaster fire, but anyway, um, you know, board breaker. Two copies of World Legacy World Crown. Uh, if you're familiar with the Mech Knight video, this is I this is the definitely the deck it was meant for. Uh, you can special summon it, similar to the rest of the Crusadia monsters. And again, you have a negate effect that if a extra deck monster activates an effect, you could tribute this card and then negate that effect and destroy that monster. Um, so this is a Crusadia by name because it does the same special summoning condition. Uh, three copies of Parallel Exceed. So, this is essentially the same thing as a Crusadia monster, uh, but it isn't an activated effect. It's not an inherent summon, so your opponent can disrupt it. However, it does give you advantage in monsters and uh, triggers the Link monster effects. Uh, so, basically, 
when you link summon a monster, you can reveal, uh, you know, special summon this card from your hand. It becomes a level four, and if you do special summon it, it special summons another parallel exceed. Um, you know, lets you make rank four plays and link climb further. Um, just a really good card for that link climbing to get to your boss monster. Now, to guarantee we OTK the opponent, we run some kaiju's. So two copies of Dogoran. Um, nothing special here. I'm not going to go over their effects because they're irrelevant to the strategy. But um, for those of you who don't know, Kaijus are used to tribute your opponent's monsters to special summon them to their side of the field. And they must be in attack position, meaning that you can swing over them. Now there's a reason why we run Kaijus, and we'll get to that in a second when we get to the link monsters, to the win condition essentially. Uh, but the high attack is very important to the deck strategy. So we want to run all the highest level kaijus possible. Normally you would run the lowers, uh, Gamma Seal, um, the Sticky String Kaiju, you know, all those other ones. But we want the high attack power uh, for the boss monster, so we'll get to that in a second. On that same vein, we also want a copy of Thunder King Kaiju and uh, Jizukiru. Same thing, high attack. We want that high attack because it's going to help us facilitate our win condition. Um, we're a go second deck, so we need some sort of interruption. Just three copies of Ash. We have a lot of bro board breaking cards as well as easy link climbing, so just have Ash as a catch all. Again, these decks are meant to showcase the main strategy of each World Legacy deck. Uh, feel free to change them to your liking to be more competitive and, uh, you know, whatever your play style is. Uh, a copy of... Oh, yeah. To the spells. Wow, that was fast. Uh, one copy of Crusadia Revival. This is searchable with our link monsters. And this is how you uh, go further into your win condition. Uh, all Crusadia link monsters gain 500 attack. And once per turn, you could target a Crusadia link monster. And it can attack every monster your opponent controls once each. Um, as I said, this is a attack for game kind of deck. So this card allows us to swing into multiple monsters to fulfill that condition. Uh, one copy of Crusadia Power. This is searchable as well with the Link Monsters, and this helps you um, with interruptions, or, or deal with interruptions, rather. It's a quick play spell. Target a Crusadia monster you control. That monster can is unaffected by other card effects except its own that turn. So, um, you don't want to use this on your main boss monster. This is used on your lower Link level monsters because this allows you to get their effects without interruptions, so your opponent can't stop them, which lets you continue to link climb. Um, and the fact that it's searchable is fantastic. Three copies of Crusadia Testament. This is an interesting card when it came out. I was a little on the fence about it, but now I'm starting to see why it's really important. So, it's a once per turn, and you can activate one of these effects. Your opponent cannot activate cards or effects in response to your Crusadia Monsters card effects. So, that's really good because that means your opponent can't stop any of the cards from going off, um, you know, you get to search, you get to climb, all without any interruptions. They can still th do things on resolution, but that doesn't help them most of the time. And the second effect is, say you can't get that OTK, uh, after damage calculation, if your Crusadia Link monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you draw cards equal to the destroyed, uh, to your monster's Link rating. So the boss monster is Link 3, which means if you destroy a monster and you don't close out the game, you could draw three cards, so that's pretty nuts. It's a really nice kind of filler card, but it also, again, facilitates the OTK game strategy. Uh, to supplement the Kaijus, we have two copies of Kaiju Slumber. Uh, for those who don't know, you destroy all monsters on the field as possible, then special summon two Kaijus with different names, one to your opponent's side of the field, one to yours, and they must attack if able. Uh, so board clear, it's bait for negations, and it also sets up the Kaijus in... Uh, the field, which again, we'll get to when we get to the boss monster, it sets them up so that way they are in the optimal position for the OTK. Uh, you can also banish it from the graveyard to search a kaiju in case you go into that turn 4. A copy of Sky Striker Mecha Hornet Drones. This card is important because it gives you a token which you can use for Link Fodder. And it also activates the Link Monster's effects because when you special summon to the Link Monster zones, they get to search, add, so on and so forth. So... Uh, this is good for both of those things. Copy of Rota. We just like consistency. Searches for... Um, 
uh, Arborea. Instant Fusion, we already saw, we're a go second deck. Summon Thousand Eyes Restrict, try to break a board, make the, you know, rank one, uh, link one, blah, blah, blah. Copy of World Legacy Succession. Um, this is so that way we can continue to extend if our opponent disrupts us. It does special summon to a zone of Link Monster points too, so that means you trigger your Link Monster's effects. Uh, just an overall good card. And in the similar vein, the non-searchable Monster Reborn. Same reason. Um, we are planning to close the game on game one, uh, turn one, turn two rather. So three copies of Pot of Desires. You don't care if you banish the rest of your deck. You just want to see more cards to help you break the board and extend. So banish away. You don't plan on going into further turns. You just want as much cards as possible to deal with your opponent's board and win. And finally, a copy of Call by the Grave. Um, I can't seem to find myself cutting this. It used to be at three. Uh, and it's kind of mandatory. If they find a way to deal with your Link Monster's effects, you got to be able, with the Nash Blossom or something, you got to be able to deal with it because sometimes you really need that card. On to the Links and to the main strategy. So, two copies of Crusadia Magius. This is your Link 1, requires the Crusadia monster specifically, except itself. And if it gains attack to um, equal to the monsters that it points to. So this is the main strategy of the Crusadia. When you special summon to the zones that they point to, uh, not only do they gain effects, but they also gain the attack of those monsters that they point to, which allows them to get really big. Now, in this case, Magius isn't the biggest at 100 attack, but it gains the attack of whatever it points to. And if you summon to a zone it points to, you get to search your deck for a Crusadia monster. Um, that's the most important thing. This allows you to search for any of the ones you have in special summon, and let you link climb further. You can chain block using Draco as well, um, and some other effects such as Parallel Exceed, uh, World Legacy, World Crowns, you know, so there's a lot going on here, and this is your main starter. Two copies of Crusadia Regulex. Regulex is one of the um, further extenders. Uh, he points up and down, so this is where the Kaiju part comes in. Because these guys have arrows pointing up and down, you can put, set the kaijus to your opponent's side of the field in the same column as where you plan to link climb. This will boost the attack of Regulex, or the last boss monster, which is Equimax, to extraordinary heights. Um, Dogaran is 3,000. If you have Dogaran pointing up and uh, towards uh, Regulex pointing towards Dogaran, and then one of the other kaijus on your side of the field for 3,000. Regulex is 1,000 attack. That's 6,300 attack added on. 7,300. It's almost game. Like, at that point, you're, you're pretty much going to close it out. Um, so that's the reason why we want Kaijus. Not only to deal with monsters for non-targeting removal, but to set up columns so you can swing for game. Now, his other effect is that when a monster special summon to his only points to, uh, you search for Crusadia Spell or Trap. So that lets you search your... Uh, field spell, your uh, disruption pieces such as power or uh, what's the name? Uh, Testament. So this is your other searcher. And then finally, to link climb into your big boss, Equimax. So Equimax has 2,000 attack, requires two effect monsters including a link monster, so that would be Regulex. And it gains attack to all the zones that uh, monsters point to, since it's a link 3, it can point to the kaiju up top, and two other monsters, which would be your other crusadias, or kaijus. Now, he has a very unique effect where, instead of having a on summon effect for the arrows, uh, he's a negate. So, you contribute a card that he points to, a uh, crusadia monster or world legacy monster, and then negate a, mon a card effect on the field. Now, this doesn't negate activations per se. It negates the effect, so this, as long as that card is on the field, it'll negate that card's effects for the turn. Which means it can stop continuous spells, continuous traps, you know, monsters on board. It's an omni-negate for anything. It does not destroy, but that sometimes that's not a bad thing. Uh, so this is your big monster, this is your win condition. You climb up the link ladder, you get your searches, you break the board, and then you swing into this with this thing for game every time. Um, I love this card. Now, we're going to go backwards into a Link 2, Crusadia Spatha. Uh, this is a situational one. You don't go into this too often. But if you have a really bricky hand where you have a bunch of monsters, uh, Spatha kind of fixes that. When you summon to a zone she points to, 
Uh, you can move that monster over, essentially freeing up that zone, which allows you to special summon again. This lets you link climb a little easier, put more monsters on board. If you're going first, this is a great link to, to go to, into except for Regulex, uh, because you can set up some Xyz plays or Synchro plays. We'll go over that in a second. Um, if you're playing Guard Dragon variant, you know you can do all the combos with LP, so on. Again, this is a pure variant, so we don't do that, but the options there. Some generic Link 2s, IP Mascarena. Again, if you're forced to go first, uh, you can make this card and have some disruptions with your boy feet, uh, Unicorn. Um, you know, just gives you something to do going second. We don't excel, uh, going first. We don't excel at it, but we'd like to have the options if possible. One thing I do want to note is that we don't run Unicorn because, I'm, I'm sorry, not Unicorn. Uh, we don't run Phoenix or Cerberus because their arrows don't point down. Meaning, if you wanted to link climb into something else or do some fancy plays, you can't because they only point up and right or left and right. Um, so you can't special summon. Unicorn, on the other hand, it is pointing down, so you can further extend if you wanted to. Um, so don't run Phoenix or Cerberus. Uh, the copy of Kagari. Uh, again, we want to extend by summoning two zones the link monster points to. So you make the token... You go into Kagari, you get back the token, now you have two Link Fodder materials, blah, blah, blah. Copy of Relinquished Anima. Um, we already went over this with Crawlers, uh, not Crawlers, with Mech Knights, so um, you make Relinquished, uh, Thousand Eyes Restrict, try to break a board, they negate it but don't destroy it, you go into Anima, and then try it again. Copy of F.A. Dawn Dragster. So, since... Aboria is a level 7, and your other Crusadian monsters are level 4 for the most part. Uh, you have no problem making this going first. So it's nice to have just a spell trap negate going first, have some sort of interruption. And again, if Arboria is in the graveyard, it lets you protect your link monsters. So it's just a really cool option, something to do. And finally, some rank 4, since again, if you're forced to go first, you have some options. Abyss Dweller, great for... Uh, the meta because it prevents a lot of graveyard effects and so on. And then finally, a copy of Babushka. Um, I'm going to call him Babushka. I know it's Babushka, but, you know, it is what it is. Uh, you know, slows down the opponent, and then that way, once they're slowed down to a halt, you can go and climb the ladder and OTK yourself as you originally intended. So, that's it for the second, no, third World Legacy deck. Hope you guys enjoyed. Again, comment, subscribe, leave a like, blah, 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 blah. Thank you.